We're on the board. It looks like a nice one. Look at that, guys. Are you okay? Are you hooked past the barb? I don't know. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and we are currently out here on the lake, and we're about to do some night fishing for some slab crappie. Now, instead of bringing our conventional gear, you know, our rods and reels, we decided to leave those at home and instead bring this basket here of yo-yos and a bucket of minnows, and we're gonna try our luck at some old-fashioned yo-yo fishing. Now, for those of you who don't know what yo-yos are, let me pull one out of the box real quick and show you what this thing looks like. This is it. This is a staple here in the southern states, and basically what this is is an automatic fish catching device, and it has a couple of moving parts to it. So first off, you have your metal spool, and inside the spool there is a metal coil, and on the inside of the spool it has this little nylon fishing line. And so then attached to the line we have a barrel swivel, a snap, and a crappie fishing hook. Now we will bait that with a minnow, and then we will pull this down to our desired depth. And as you can see right here, we have this little lever. And on the yo-yo spool, there's these notches, and you will just push that lever to the notch, and your bait is set. So then the minnow is freely swimming down below the hook, and when the fish bites it, it pulls the line, and makes sure I don't hook myself, and it yanks the fish up out of the water. Not really out of the water, but hooks the fish in the roof of the mouth, and then they fight on the yo-yo pulley system, and it helps you not lose those fish. So we're gonna go around. We have all these scattered cypress trees and water tree out here. It's getting lit with about an hour, maybe 45 minutes of daylight left, and we're gonna bait these up with some fresh minnows. We're gonna go to each tree, you know, multiple times throughout the night and see what we can catch. If you love the yo-yo fishing videos, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to baiting. We have all of our yo-yo set up and now all we have to do is wait. So we're going to go inside for a little bit and then we're going to come back out here and hopefully we have a bunch of fish on the lines. Alright guys, as we were heading in we got a fish. We're on the board. It looks like a nice one. It looks like a nice one. We're swinging. Swing it. Woo! Yes. That's a keeper. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. First fish of the night. Is a slab. We're off to a good start. We had a yo-yo go spin. off and we thought that we had one but he got off but that is our first official fish of the night. Beautiful black crappie. And the sun is just set behind the trees and it's just beautiful out here. Nice one. <laughs> All right, throw them in the bucket. Woohoo! Heck yeah, first of many, hopefully. Guys, we may not be able to get back home. We are getting lit up right now. We got another nice crappie here. Don't come off. Oh Woo! yeah! Look at that, guys! Nice. That's bigger than the last. We're trending upward. We're trying to get some mega slabs tonight. Look at that, it's barely hooked. Oh, he ain't, he's hooked good. Hooked good. That is our second crappie of the night on the yo-yo. Man, this is our first yo-yo session of the year and looks like it's gonna be a good night. Here, we put him in the bucket, get that rebated, and try to make it back to the house, but we honestly may not ever make it there as fast <laughs> as the action is happening right now. Okay. Look at there, guys. We have got our third crappie on the yo-yo. We have not made it back home yet. <laughs> and that is another slab. Can you reach him, Jay? Yeah. Get him, Jay. Yes, and that is another <laughs> keeper. Yeah. Heck yes. Another nice black crappie. Three solid ones in the boat so far. We hung up about 30 yo-yos and we already have had so much turnaround success already. Yeah. That's exciting. It's crazy. We didn't even have to wait. No, we didn't have to wait. <laughs> we got three in the bucket. Good job, Jay. Let's get that one rebated and let's uh let's make a little pass through here, I guess, and make sure we don't have any more. This is insane, guys. <laughs> Literally, while we were getting that fish put in the bucket, this yo-yo went off, and we have another one across the way that went off also. I think this keeper, I think this fish is not a keeper, though. No, I think no. it's gonna be a little short. That guy is a little too small, but hey, we got another bite on the yo-yo. This is awesome. We were not expecting this quick of action tonight. All right, let's send this little guy back once we get the bigger ones. <laughs> See ya. Well, the one that we heard ended up not being as big as we thought it was. It's just this little guy right here. <laughs> Another little black crappie. But he did sound ferocious from afar. Anyways, we're gonna toss him back, get rebaited, and hopefully next time we come to show you, we'll have a two pound slab on it. Guys, look at the size of this minnow. Let me get him on the hook. That's like the best minnow we've baited up so far. <laughs> it's lively too. He's bound to catch a big one. I really like this tree. It's just, this is like a huge cypress tree. It's like the biggest one out here. 
think that's good. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay, but this is definitely gonna get bit again. I can feel it. Uh-oh, fellas. Take a look at this one. We got another keeper. I think that's our fourth fish that we've kept tonight. I think we've caught seven total maybe, seven or eight total. We may not have shown you all of them, but there is our fourth keeper. We still have not made it back to the house. I don't think we're gonna make it there. I think we're just gonna ride it out of here because we're just getting lit up and we're actually starting to run out of minnows. Anyways, I need to grab this guy. Come here, big fella. Oh, got you. <laughs> what you guys say about that, Jay? Whoa, what that's you guys a say nice about one. <laughs> is the light bright? Yes, it's very bright. <laughs> nice right. one. It looks like a big fish. Yeah, that is a good one. I don't think it's as big as our biggest one in there, but it's a really nice one. Okay, let's throw him in the box and let's keep scooting around out here. The bite is on. Let's freaking go, guys. We got another <laughs> good one. <laughs> I'm zoomed in really close on your face. You can do it. You can do it. And you also have a leaf on your face. That's what, oh, oh. Grab, oh, grab him. Whoa. Oh, yes. Whoa. Yes. What a chub. Yeah. That dude's got some thick slabs on him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm getting poked by this tree. I, yeah, yeah, that's part of your okay. fishing. Heck Ow. yeah. Oh, you okay? Did you get hooked? Are you okay? Are you hooked past the barb? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, you good? I'm good. I heard that thing pop. Are you, are you good? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that fish up. That was almost mega bad. <laughs> Dang, that is. Gotta a, be careful. That's another nice fish. They're all about the same size. They're all about in that 11 and a half inch to 12 inch range. But that is a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! I don't know how many we got now. I'm starting to lose count. I don't know either. Five? But we're seriously, guys, we were not expecting mm. to run through this many minnows. Also, we only have about 15 minnows left in the bucket. And um, we have about 30 O's out here. So you do the math. Every time we're. <laughs> getting bit we're having to replace the minnow so our minnow supply is dwindling yes quickly. we don't have very many left at all so our night might get cut short but we are getting lit up right now by some slabs and some hooks and some hooks <laughs> <laughs> okay hey, good job let's rebate this guy well guys we're not really sure what happened we were getting bit kind of pretty much left and right for the first like hour that we were out there we couldn't even make it back to the house we were getting bit so much but we actually kind of started running out of minnows and we were on our last run of yo-yos baited up the minnows but they were all baited up but for some reason we only had a couple of them go off and we missed and then we sat up there for like another 30 45 minutes and none of them went off we didn't get any more bites and some of the minnows came off and it was very strange because the action was definitely hot and heavy from the start yeah. and we weren't expecting it to get worse we were expecting it to improve actually we thought we were going to like just waylay them to catch a bunch of crappie tonight but we did get some nice ones show the people the fish Woo. and then we ended up keeping six nice black crappie they're all like like i said like the 11 and a half inch size and we're going to cook them for you guys we're going to make some delicious fish sandwiches with them i think so hope you guys are excited for that stay tuned and we will catch you guys tomorrow morning <laughs> All right, we're out here this morning, about to get our catch from last night, cleaned up and prepared to be turned into some delicious fish sandwiches, and they are gonna be so good today for lunch. Anyways, we gotta get the fish cut up first, and then we'll show you guys what we are talking about. All right, we got the fish all cleaned up. They look beautiful and they're ready to be cooked in the deep fryer. We've got that all heated up as you can see. And we've also pre-made some french fries. These are some seasoned waffle fries we've never had before and literally they taste like an Arby's french fry made a baby with a Chick-fil-A french fry. They are so good, like really good. We're about to batter these guys in the fish mix here in the bag. And today we are using the Louisiana Cajun Crispy Fish Fry. And it's the spicy recipe because it's kind of cold out and we need some spice in our life today. So let's go ahead, let's get a couple of these guys out. That grease is hot and these guys are ready to go in there. Shake our filet off, we'll throw them in the bag real quick. I think I need a bigger bag. Yeah, we have bigger bags. We might have to swap to a bigger bag. <laughs> but for demonstration purposes, this should work. Those look evenly coated. And now we will throw them into the hot grease. And that looks hot. Oh, cause it is, cause it is.
All right, we got a bigger bag. We're gonna get some more of these guys going. All right, those look really good. And once we get all this fish cooked, Jay's gonna show you guys how we build the ultimate slubby patty. You're not gonna wanna miss this. It is so delicious. Now that all the fish is cooked, I can't wait any longer to make this amazing fish sandwich, what I like to call a slabby patty. So let's get started. I'm going to first put my slab, slabby patty on the bun, which I toasted my buns. And now I'm going to add some Louisiana tartar sauce. This stuff is really good, along with our, goes along with our fish fry. And I'm going to sprinkle that, or spread that on top. And now I'm going to add some lettuce and tomatoes and you have to have the pickles and put your top bun on top and voila now you can't tell me that that does not look delicious I cannot wait to eat it it's gonna be so good Oh yeah, that is so good. This is honestly probably my favorite way to cook and eat fish. It used to be fish tacos, which I still really love, but ever since I started making these sloppy patties, they're number one for me. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. Hey, if we look a little bit sleepy this morning, it's because we couldn't yeah. sleep all night because we were so excited to return back to this crappie fishing destination, the spot where we caught all those crappie and yellow bass yesterday. A lot of things have changed since yesterday, and I say a lot of things, I'm talking about temperature degrees. It's, it's dropped about 25 degrees since we were out here yesterday. The starting temp this morning is 23 Yikes. degrees Fahrenheit. So that is nine degrees below freezing. I brought some, uh, when I bring some real mag, I brought some real mag to like spray down our rods. I know our guides gonna be freezing up, and we aren't using braided lines today. We're using a straight mine. We're using the same set as yesterday um, to prevent our stuff from freezing. But we have one set of gloves. We might be sharing. I doubt. I think Jay's gonna, Jay's, Jay's probably gonna hoard the gloves this morning. But we got our waders. Jay's got some new waders on with some trash bags. Yeah, last time we were here, my hip boots leaked. Yeah, and that's. And I stood in the freezing cold water. Yeah, and if she was freezing then, she's definitely gonna freeze up today. And so we don't want that. Fingers crossed for no leaks. Yeah, hopefully those trash <laughs> bags work. They're a proven technique uh, when you have leaky waders. So, anyways, we're gonna get out the car, even though it is toasty and warm, because we gotta get over there and see if there's an early morning bite. They could be on fire this morning. There's a little bit of ice going around the perimeter of the area. So it looks juicy. So we're excited. If you're excited, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And we are going to hike over there and we're going to catch some crappie, hopefully. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're out here. My GoPro, I tucked it inside my waiter. It's like, I think it's cold because it keeps glitching, keeps freezing up. But anyways, we're out right here about to start fishing. Got some real magic. We're going to spray this all over our guides just so that they don't freeze up. Step works pretty good. Spread it on all your guides. Spread on your reel a little bit. Should be good to get Jay's pole. Don't like ice in the guides. Hopefully this works. I've used this in the past and it worked before, so it should work today. Let's wait out there. Let's see if the waiters leak. Let's see if we can catch the fish. I'm freezing. I am absolutely freezing. There we go, fish on. <clears throat> There's my first fish of the morning. A feisty little yellow bass. It's been, it seems like it's a little bit slower this morning than it was yesterday. I think it's because it's cold. Fish haven't had a chance to warm up. They're a little lethargic. They could have pushed out to a different area. Um, I don't know what that, something just happened right there. I wasn't paying attention. Something just swirled like crazy right there. I'm gonna cast over there, I wasn't paying attention. But it's a little bit colder this morning, obviously. Um, the sun's out. So I, yesterday when we were fishing, the sun was out really good. And uh, I'm thinking maybe once the sun comes up a little bit, maybe I'll get this fish a little bit more active. But the crappie could be holding in a different little area right now. They could be like more wedged up in the grass where we can't cast to them. Or they could just be out here, maybe it's a little bit deeper. I'm not positive. We're gonna cast around and see if we can find some. Crappie. Crappie. First one of the day, baby. Not a bad one. Took a while. The bite is definitely slower this morning than it was yesterday, midday, but there are still some crappie hanging out out here. 
First fish for the stringer. Whew. All right. Only need about 10 more. Fish on. Fish on. Oh gosh. Is it a crappie or a yellow bass? Kind of find like a yellow bass. Yellow bass. First fish of the day is the yellow bass. And I got some bad news. Um, I just found out that my waders leak both feet. Whew, it's gonna get chilly. Those fish are up in that grass. So I've made my bait. So I've set my bobber like maybe 10 inches, 11 inches above my jig and I'm throwing up in this grass and there's a couple of holes and I'm just sneaking my jig through those holes. Got him. I think it's the old bass. And they are demolishing it. I'm thinking they're up in the grass because it's so cold. The grass is holding a little bit more heat. And I think that once it warms up, they'll kind of spread back out. But right now it seems like they're in the grass and I think that the most of the fish are in some places where we can't even put our jigs at. So I'm just trying to get as close as possible, possible to those spots. And I try to get a fish to come out and eat my jig. That's how I caught that crappie. It's how I just caught that yellow bass. I had a couple more bites. But oh, I can't do this. I can't do this any longer. Both of my, both legs of my waders are full of water. And it's so cold. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. Oh, it was a little bit easier yesterday because we were catching them every cast. But this is not working for me today. Oh. There's a nice yellow bass. Way up in that grass. But unfortunately, we've got a skedaddle. Jay's waders are not working. They're filling up with water. So I'm gonna let this fish go. And we are going to bounce out of this location for a little while. We're gonna go to the store, and get Jay some new waders, and then we will come back out here. And hopefully the bite will have turned on and we'll start smoking some big crappie. Let's get out here though, let's get Jay warmed up. And we'll see you guys when we get back out here. All right, we're back out here for round two. Round one was no good. I got so cold, I got soaked. Um, but anyways, went to the store and we got me new waders. So these are really nice. They're rubber, so I can also catch snakes with them. But anyways, hopefully round two will be a lot better than round one. Cause I'm in the water right now and so far so good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna split up. We have a bucket. We're, if we catch the fish, we're gonna throw them in the bucket and uh, see if we can catch some crappies. Another thing that's nice about round two is that it's not freezing anymore. I mean, it is cold, but it's above. 32 degrees so our line isn't freezing up our guides aren't freezing up it's so like 33 yeah it's like 33 <laughs> so we're gonna split up a little bit cover the same little area and see if we can find out where the crop you're hanging out at go get him jay oh this could be a crappie oh yeah this is a crappie oh yeah this is a big crappie oh my gosh please don't get stuck get up get up Come here. Okay, he's not as big as I thought he was. Ah, stop. I don't want to get my hands wet. Whew. There we go. There's my first crappie of the day. That was awesome. It took a very long time to catch this fish. Too many yellow bass, not enough crappie out here. Look, I got one. Gotta put him in the bucket. Oh, oh, that's a crappie. That's a crappie. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, I got him. That's a crappie. Woo! Yeah, baby. Whoa. I'm trying to grab it. Stop. Yeah. Another nice one out of the same spot. I may have found me a little honey hole. Nice, that's a slab. He's thick. Oh, okay, now I have to walk 
all the way over here and put him in the bucket. Another nice lab for the bucket. That's a crappie. It's a good one. It's biggin. It's a biggin. It's a biggin. Oh, he's stuck. You got a crappie? I got a crappie. I got a biggin. I got a biggin. Big one. Where you at, fish? Oh, it's a biggin. It's a biggin. Come here. Whoa! Yeah! Big old slab, baby. It's been a while. Jay just got on the slab train, and I think I'm on it too. Look at that. Big old crappie. Caught him way back in the grass. They are so shallow. And then there's these tiny little pockets. And if you don't put your jig in a little pocket, you're not getting bit. If you go too far to the right or left, you can hunt up in the grass. But it's worth it. Big old slabs. We're throwing in the bucket. Let's see if we get some more. This is the fourth one. Fourth fish in the bucket, I think. Yes. Number four. Number four. Let's see if we can get 10. 10 would be sweet. Okay, I'm taking back the bucket. Oh, that might be, I think that's a crappie. I think that's a crappie. Get out of this. They scare me whenever they get in the grass like that. Woo, yeah, baby. Another one. I am on to something now. Yes. Oh, this is so much fun. Back to the bucket. Back to the bucket. Here's a crappie. That was a yellow bass. It's a small crappie. It's the smallest one we caught today. He's not gonna be a keeper. What's up with that little dude? I was just fighting him nonchalantly thinking it was a yellow bass, but it's a it's a crappie. That's a crappie. Biggin. 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 Come here, big daddy. Barely hooked. <laughs> yes, sir. Another nice one. Making that walk back over here to the bucket. I think this is number six. Looking for about four more. The bite has really slowed down, so we'll see what happens. Well, that's it for this spot. We caught six keeper fish, and I honestly think that might be the last six crappie in this hole. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of crappie in here. There's a lot of yellow bass, um, but we're just not getting, if there was more crappie in here, I think we would have caught more. But I'm happy we got six keepers. And uh, there's one more spot we're going to try out, so we're going to check out that one location, then we're going to head back to the house. So stay tuned, we'll see you guys at the next fishing spot. That's a crappie! That's a crappie! <laughs> I just turned my GoPro on too. First cast on this side. Woo! That's a dandy! I'm just gonna go ahead and add him to the bucket. Never said. We were walking our way back to the car and we stopped on this side. I caught one of my first casts. Well, we made it back to the house while we're actually at Granny's house, but we did not catch as many fish as we thought we were going to today, but that's okay, we got enough fish for lunch. That's all that counts, right? <laughs> Anyways, so we're at the house and we decided we're going to try to prepare these fish in a different way than we've ever done before on our channel and that is going to be cooking them in an air fryer. Air fryers have been all the rage the last couple years. Everyone has an air fryer. If you don't have one, I'm kind of surprised that you don't. I feel like everybody <laughs> has an air fryer. And today we want to see how well an air fryer can fry a crappie filet. So we're going to batter these guys up in some air fryer seasoning and we're going to throw them in the air fryer and see how well it performs. So let's get these guys battered up, let's throw them in the air fryer and see what happens. Here are our delicious crappie fillets, and this is the Louisiana Air Fryer Season Mix that we're going to be battering the fish in today. The air fryer that Jay is standing by just went off, signaling that it is hot and ready to go. So we are going to put some of that air fryer mix in this gallon bag. We're going to put the fish in there, we're going to shake it all up, and it's going to be 
delicious. We I hope, hope so. Hope it's delicious. <laughs> let's go ahead and get these guys seasoned up and let's throw them in the air fryer. What's it smell like? It smells really Let me good. Smell it. it smells kind of hot. Hmm. <sighs> it smells good though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm about to make a mess. Yeah, I'll help you out. There we go. Fill the whole bag up. Alrighty. Reach in, grab you a slab. Ooh, that's some good looking fish. <laughs> How many should I do? Maybe do like four. Do four to start off with. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Looks That's good. That's all you're supposed to do. Now in the box it said you need to shake off the excess, so I guess you can just maybe just shake it off in the bag. Pull the fillet up and shake it off in the bag. Okay. All right, Jay is going to place these fillets on this little cooking tray here. It looks like it'll hold probably six fillets. Maybe we can add a couple more to it. Let's do six. We already have four. Good luck, guys. And it says to cook it for 10 to 15 minutes and then flipping it halfway through. So it's definitely a little bit longer than cooking it in grease, but hopefully it's gonna taste really good. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little more healthy for Yeah, you. it's gonna be healthier. I guess, <laughs> as healthy as it can be, as fried fish can be. We'll keep an eye on these guys and we'll see what happens. Going in for the flip. How's it feel? Does it feel crispy? No. No? <laughs> it does not feel very crispy. Yeah. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about air frying is you have to flip it. As opposed to in grease, it just cooks it. Yeah. Ow, no. It's kind of falling apart. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That was a fail. I won't break any more. Okay. Maybe you should use a spatula. Probably. There we go. Going in with the spatula. Much better. Pro tip, use a spatula. Huh. I don't know about this. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know about this, guys. I'm scared. Ugh. Eh, it don't look that bad. No. Is it crispy? I'm gonna touch one. It's kind of crispy. It's kind of, ow, I touched the pan. Dang it, it's hot. Huh, not the most beautiful and most appetizing thing I've ever seen, but should eat. <laughs> Let's see. Granny, you think it'll be any good? <laughs> you, but look at it. You wasn't supposed to do that. Look at it. <laughs> it looks good. <clears throat> Granny, first impressions. First impressions. What do you think? Touch it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, Granny. It's good. Is it, it good? Don't make you always say it's good. good. You ain't gonna taste buds. <laughs> okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's put it on a plate. Is it we mushy? We should have made some french fries. Is it a little mushy? This part wasn't. Hmm. Guys, the only problem with this is that we didn't make any sides to go with it. No french fries or nothing. It's just fish. Whoops. Oops. Okay, I'm a slabby patty. You want a slabby patty? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! <laughs> slabby patty it is. I just want to eat some of this fish before it gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody slab patties all around woo, woo. there's jay's looks a little bit nicer than mine granny's got some tomato on hers i've just got some fish and pickles i got one piece of fish on the side <laughs> just to get the full flavor effect of it but now it's time to see how well the air fryer produces fried fish fillets granny said it was good but granny says everything is good so jay is it really good is it really good take a bite oh okay <laughs> <clears throat> don't watch me <laughs> just kidding okay here we go Is it is it better than the deep fried? Mm. 
Mm, it's definitely not as crispy. Yeah. So I would say that it's not better. Is the flavor okay? The flavor is fine. It probably tastes a little bit more fishy. Yeah. But not bad. Not bad? Not like a bad fishy taste. Okay. Okay, well I could probably get down with that. I mean it looks alright. Like like we said, it'll eat. G bug. It's definitely very flaky. It's very flaky? Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Those are definitely fish right there underneath me. Right there, I need to put them right now though. Oh, he was looking at it. Got him. We are hooked up with a nice one. I don't know if this is a crappie or what. Oh, it's a big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Just gonna boat flip him. Oh, it's a shot. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Whoa, that was first drop. Oh my God. <laughs> How about that for a first drop on a brush pile, guys? That is a slab. He smoked this little baby shad. Golly, there was a couple of them down there fighting for it. I was like, I don't know if there's a fish or not. I think they are. And boom, that guy came out of the brush pile and just hammered it. I mean, that is a slabby slab. Yes, it is. Yeah, you know, thick that thing is. And there was more down there with this one. So I'm going to put this guy in the live one. We're going to drop back down on there and see if we can get a couple more out of that brush pile before they disperse. So sick. What a way to start. <laughs> nice one. It's really nice. Oh, it's a giant. That's a giant fish. That's a big one, JJ. That feels so heavy. If that's a crappie, it's a really big one. Oh, it's a oh yeah, it's a nice big crappie. Whoa. He's like the last one. He's like the last one. I'm just gonna I'm gonna lift that one. I'm here. Ah, got him. <laughs> oh, frick, I need a net in this thing for these crappie. Look at that wow. one, Jay. That's that, a couple of drops later. That's awesome. That's another big one. Second big slab crappie of the day. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in the live with his buddy and we're gonna get back down in there. I think there's a few more in that brush pile. Got him. Got him. My reel's messed up. Reel's messed up. It's big. It's big. Reel's messed up. Big crappie. Reel's messed up. Reel's messed up. He's gonna boat flip him. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Look at that. There's our third nice slab crappie of the afternoon. They all three look about like twins, or I guess triplets at this point. It's the third big one. I actually dropped a minnow down on that one. I had one swipe at my jig and uh, decided to drop a minnow down there and see if I can get him to bite, and he smoked it. That is so awesome. Third really nice crappie. Whew. These are gonna be some good eating. Let's throw this guy in the live one and get back down there. Got him. Oh, God. Stay on there. Stay on there. Feels like another good fish. Feels like another good fish. Oh yeah, another nice keeper crappie. Yes! Whew, there we go. There's our fourth keeper out here today. This is actually our smallest one though, and he is still a really, really quality sized fish. Man, what a beautiful black crappie. These are some of the most good looking fish that I've caught in a while. Like every thin margin is complete. They got beautiful black spots. They're coming out of this deep, clear water. Just a really, really nice fish. That's number four. There we go. Another fish. Doesn't feel super big. Oh, it's a good one still. Look at that. 
he didn't fight at all ha <laughs> ha there we go fifth crappie on the board these are all such nice fish it's unreal how nice these fish are out here today just beautiful beautiful crappie i'm putting down here on the measuring board so you can see how long they are they're like 12 inches almost our first ones are bigger than that See, he's almost 12, and this is one of our smaller ones. I think our two bigger ones are like 13 and a half or so. Beautiful black crappie. Number five. That's another good one. I think it's another nice crappie. It is another slab in the boat the minnows are wrecking shop we were doing pretty good with the jigs at first we caught our first two but everything else since then has been on the minnow just fat healthy crappie they can't resist it that little minnow swimming down there is just like i said simply irresistible beautiful slab that's our sixth one chunky and there's more down there gotcha gotcha nice fish nice fish another nice slab get up here loving the quality out here today it's just every fish looks the exact same with the exception of the first two we caught were a little bit bigger but this is another like 11 and three quarter inch sized fish pushing 12 just thick healthy beautiful minnow munching black crappie got to love that guys Another one, another one. Oh, it's a yellow bass. Dang, that's not what we're after. It's probably what's stealing some of my minnows down there, honestly. He's a pretty good sized one though, but just not exactly what we are after out here today. I'm gonna let him keep that minnow as a little token of my appreciation for him biting, but not at all what I'm after. Don't know what that is. Feels pretty decent though. It's a little crappie, but I think it's another keeper. A little bit smaller. We've lost our good average 12 inch size fish, but I think it's another keeper. We'll put him on the deck and see how big he is. I think he's probably close to 10, if not 10. Oh yeah, that is an easy 10 inch crappie. Another beauty. Catch some nice ones out here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come here. Yes. Whew. They're not biting at every drop and it's taken a few uh, attempts and a few drops down to get them to bite. But it um, seems like every five or six minutes I'm able to get one of these fish to commit. There's a bunch of shad down there and they're just hanging out underneath them. And then all of a sudden they just come up and they just crunch that minnow. That's a better size one. It's one of the bigger ones or it's like the size of the first couple ones we got definitely over 12 inches just a beautiful chunky healthy black crappie who is going to go in our live well there we go rod just loaded up they just loaded up i didn't even feel the bite just got heavy oh that's another big one another big one get up here Oh, another chunky, big old black crappie. Are you kidding? Man, the quality out here is unreal. That's another just beautiful 12 inch fish. Got the sun going down, reflecting off his sides. Just a beautiful sight to see. We've got some nice fish in this live well. He'll make a great addition. We got maybe, oh gosh, oh gosh. He said, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> we got maybe 10 in there now. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one, JJ. Oh, big one. Big one. Flip him. Flip That's him. Nice flip one. him. Yes. <laughs> Finally, Jay got one. Whoa. Yes. 
Oh wow. Ooh, look at that. That is that's a, a dandy. That's a really <laughs> nice one, JJ. I'm glad you finally decided to join the party yeah, up here. Finally. <laughs> oh what my a, goodness. What a beautiful slab. Woo! That's like that's I mean, dang near the biggest of the day. I know it could be. This is what you do when your slab queen gets up here on the front, she comes up here and just smokes a big one. <laughs> That is awesome. What so a beautiful cool. fish. So beautiful. Look at that little black on him. I know. I caught one like that too. I'm not even gonna lie. Huh. That's crazy. It's not a full on full full on black nose, it's just a little black spot on the back. Nice uh -huh. fish, JJ. Didn't get skunked. <laughs> here. Put Jay's big slab in here with the buddies. You think I got any more minnows? Those are all crops. I think they drifted off all of it. Oh, it's right there. Well, that's different. You got one? Oh, I guess I have one. Oh, gosh. Oh. I thought we were off the spot, but I guess we were I on it. <laughs> that's awesome. I thought we were off the spot. <laughs> still got the minnow. Yeah, that's another keeper. He's a little bit smaller than your last one. It's cold out here. Yeah, it's really cold. It's really cold. <laughs> your hands numb? Yeah. Dang. Uh, there you go. Let's see him. Second fish, another nice keeper, which pretty much all the fish we've caught today have been keepers but they have really enjoyed eating the minnows more than the jigs. We got a nice juicy brush pile down here and it seems like there's more fish in there than there was when we first started, which is kind of crazy. Well, look at this, I don't even have to rebait, just gotta cast back out there and catch another one. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, as long as that minnow isn't like completely dead. <laughs> no, nice one. <laughs> I'm gonna let it drop. Okay, okay right there. Lift it up a little bit. Okay, right there. Got him? Got him. Got him. Got big that in. one. Big in. Oh, yeah, this one feels good. Big old slab. <laughs> Still have my minnow. Still got your minnow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, always a good feeling. I thought he was be bigger than that. He's still a good I one. Oh, he felt, he felt pretty big. Your rod, your rod was definitely bouncing. He bit it good, that's for sure. Another black crappie, yep. Another black crappie, another nice keeper. I don't think we caught any white crappie out here today. Nope. I'll just, I'm just like your little service man. Yeah. I'll take, take this my guy. Fish. <laughs> got you out here in this freezing cold weather, but you didn't bring another jacket. I don't I know. know what your deal is. You came out here it unprepared. It was warm today. <laughs> it was warm, but when we got out here, it got so windy and it kind of locked Jay up for a minute. Got him? Got him. Got him. Got him. How big is he? Oh, it's another nice one. He, I that, still mm, got the minnow. You still got that dang minnow. That is crazy. Oh, no. Wait, I just, wait, no, it's there. It's there. there. <laughs> nice one. How many fish can I catch on this one minnow? I don't know. That minnow is definitely dead. <laughs> I know, but I was just, oh, I lost it. Rip. <laughs> I was jigging it. Let's see if this guy oh. measures. It's going to be close. You measure him on this thing. I think he's actually not going to be a keeper. This might be our first small guy. Yeah, he's only nine inches. Oh. Only a nine inch or so, we'll send him back. They gotta be 10 inches in this lake. We'll get you, let's get you a live minnow, Jay. That's a big crappie, I think. You think you lost your minnow? Oh, oh no, it's in a fish's mouth. Oh gosh. <laughs> How's it feel? Feels bigger. Really? Woo! Oh, it's a slab. Flip him. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jay. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. choked. Oh my gosh, that's oh. a big one. Check it out. <laughs> nice. He freaking choked it. Yeah, I know that minnow is way down there. What a slab. <laughs> what a slab. Too bad we're about to be out of minnows. Oh. So look at this, guys. So this is what we're looking at. We got this hard brush pile. And we had these little blobs. And I couldn't tell if those are crappie or not, really, because sometimes I see the blobs and they look like that and they're usually yellow bass. But I think most of those are crappie because Jay keeps dropping down right in the middle of them and smacking them. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Here you go. That'll warm you up, right? Yeah. You might rehook your minnow, maybe. Is he okay? I think he's okay. All right. We'll put this guy in the live well. We got about 15 minutes of daylight. Got to make these last few moments count. See if Jay can get another one. I'm having Should fun. Rehook it? Yeah. I mean, I think he's dead, but you can you can jiggle it too, make him look like he's yeah. alive. Got him! Got him! Is he big? Oh Come on, don't lose him. On, we need this one. Last one of the day. Come on, be a big one. Oh, it's oh, a good one. Oh, it's a, oh, it don't matter. Flip him in here. It don't matter how you catch him. That's a big one. <laughs> he swiped at it. Oh, man. Oh, 
He might have like sucked it in and blew it out and then you smashed him. Wow. That's a stud! That's a really big one. Oh my, oh my gosh. Goodness. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Last light. The sun has just set behind the trees. <laughs> Man, you stuck that one good. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's amazing. Oh look, he's got the black on him too. What is up with that? Is that normal? I, I don't know. know. I don't know if it's normal. Like we've seen, we've caught some black nose crappie and some magnolia crappie, but that's just like black specked crappie. Oh, the black crappie got the black speck. Yeah. And uh, my toes are cold. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. My toes are because they got wet. I've been jumping mineral water on them. And they got wet. <laughs> I'm cold. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you look kind of miserable. Except for that, you got a big old crappie in your hand. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, oh, that's fun. Thing. Yeah, he got. Yeah, you stuck him pretty hard, JJ. You got him good. Sorry. That's a good one. That's a good one to end on. Woo! Oh, ho, 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 ho. there he is! There he is. Woo nice! Oh, oh gosh! Yeah, we had one minnow left, so we were like, yeah, we should probably use it and try to catch one more fish. I'm not even sure if we got the beginning of that on the camera. Oh. <laughs> they bit so fast. Oh, yeah, he did bite really fast. We had one minnow left, but you still had the minnow on your hook. I know, so I guess we could catch another one. We could. I mean, they're biting every drop. Why wouldn't Might you? Might as well. Might as well. Is that a, is that a 10 incher? Oh yeah, 10 inches, but we've got some nice ones and I'm just gonna throw them back. Okay. I'm just gonna throw them back. All right guys, well we had quite the time out here on the lake this afternoon. It was quite cold, but we managed to catch some really, really nice slab crappie, which is honestly kind of unexpected. We don't normally do that great out here in this spot, but luckily um, we just happened to find the right brush pile and some fish that we're willing to eat. But anyways, we're going to get back to the boat ramp, load this boat back up get back to the house, warm up, and we are going to clean this fish at some point. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Okay guys, so it is nighttime out here currently, but we are ready to cook some fish up for dinner. We've got a bowl full of those fresh crappie fillets we got out on the lake today, looking super pearly and ready to be fried up. We got the deep fryer down here to my left, um, getting heated up. But tonight we are gonna be doing something special. We're going to be beer battering those fish that we got today. It has been heavily requested recently, so that's what we're going to do. So what I have here is a little concoction of some beer battered um, fish mix, and then I have some water. I don't actually have beer. So here we're getting this all thoroughly mixed. The last time we had beer battered fish, I think that I um, didn't have it evenly mixed up enough because it was pretty thick on the filet. It was still really tasty, but I think it was a little bit too thick. Okay, so it's looking like our oil is hot. Let's just grab a couple of filets out of this bowl. Let's dunk them in the wet batter. The hardest part about this is not getting it all over your fingers and getting it all sticky. You just want to get it all evenly coated, just like that. Oh, that's hot. Oh, wow, that's really hot. That's going to sizzle. Okay, I'm just the tips over. That looks good. Let's go ahead and drop it in there. Yeah. You want to start frying instantly. That's when you know that your oil is hot enough. Let's get a couple of these fillets. We'll probably do like three or four to start off with. We don't want to overfill the basket right off. Okay, I've got to say it's turning out really well tonight with the exception of one filet, which I definitely destroyed the evidence on that sheet. You guys went and see how messy that one turned out. But let me show this camera, I'll show you guys what we're working with down here on the tray. Got some really, really nice looking beer battered filets. I have two more here cooking in the um, deep fryer. The one that got messed up actually got stuck to the basket, so that's why it got all tore up. But y'all guys will never see that one because I definitely ate it and it definitely tasted good. But um, yeah, so that's, the report on that, those will be done in about 30 seconds or so. We'll have ourselves a good mess of crappie right there. Just got those final two fillets out of the deep fryer. And like I just said, I think they turned out really, really well. Look at that. Golden crispy, just the way you like it. Airy, fluffy, just what you want from beer battered fish fillets. It's crazy that I haven't beer battered crappie fillets in this long, especially after sampling that piece a moment ago. It is so good. But what I'll do real quick for y'all is do the official taste test right here. There's a piece of that crappie, look at that, steaming. It's hot, flaky, airy, crunchy, and it's going down. Mm.
Fish on. Fish on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Woohoo! First fish of the day is a nice crappie. That did not take long at all. That is really exciting. And this is definitely a keeper. It's a really nice one. I'm going to be adding him to the bucket. I got to get out back out there. like a good one. Oh baby that feels like a really good one. Come on. Woo! Look at that one. That's a slab. He's only got one eye. Oh poor little guy. Man he looks rough. Oh that's a one-eyed slab. Oh hooked up. Woo! There we go. Yeah, yours is way bigger than this one. Mine's bigger, but yours has two eyes. Yeah, mine's got two eyes. Little black crappie. It's a nice white crappie. Yeah, it is. He does look pretty rough, but he's got I some know. thick slabs on him. Well, he's actually got some nasty stuff on his side right there. Look at that. Oh, Maybe yeah. we should throw him back. Yeah, I actually feel kind of sorry for him. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of rough around the edges. Let's see both these guys too. back into the foam. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Be free. We'll catch some that are a little bit more high quality than that, hopefully. <laughs> that guy looks really rough. <laughs> oh, right by the bank. Another nice little crappie. I'm getting most of my bites right up here along these rocks. Not a monster. Looking for something a little bit bigger than that today, but he's a keeper out here. We'll send him back. If we don't start getting some that are a little bit bigger than that, then we'll probably keep a few that size, just so we'll have something to take home. is a little baby. <laughs> that is one tiny crappie. All right, there we go. Throw him back. Catch a bigger one. a really big one today. Just wait. Oh gosh, that's a crappie? That's a fish? Wow, I thought it was hung up on a rock for a second. This might be a really big one. Woo, baby! That's a really big one! That's a slab. That is what you come for. Oh my goodness. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that one looks a lot better than the last big one you yes, caught. Yes, he does. He looks a little bit more healthy. Definitely bigger. <laughs> yeah, he's a thick one for sure. Oh yeah. And he bit that white tube down there? Yeah, they're biting both colors. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. That is a really nice one to put in the bucket. I know, I thought it was hung up for a second. It just hung up in a big slab's mouth. <laughs> Man, I might swap it to the double jig rig. My bobber rig is really slow. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna stick with it for a little longer, but if you keep wrecking these big ones like this, I'm gonna have to make a change. <laughs> Another one right out of the foam. That is so crazy catching him out of the foam like that. Man, another decent sized black crappie. Definitely a keeper for this place, but I think I'm gonna send him back into the foam. Keep pulling out for something a little bit bigger. Swimming right 
towards us. Woo! All right, there we go. He made it right at the end of the cast on the fall. Uh, I'm not gonna keep this one though. I'm gonna throw him back. Try to keep some bigger ones today. Oh, it's a white bass. Oh, I was like, he's fighting so hard. That's why it's a white bass. We don't catch a whole lot of those down here for some reason. Nice. Pretty cool. There's one. Pretty decent one. Ugh. I guess we'll probably start keeping some this size. We were trying to hold out for the bigger ones, but the bite's been just really slow, but that's a solid keeper. We'll toss him in the bucket, get back out there, see if we can get him to turn on. Another one! Woo! I'm starting to make a little bit of comeback with the bobber and jig. Jay was smoking him on the double jig rig for a while, but it's gotten kind of slow. The water keeps swirling around. It's not a really consistent eddy. Um, but what I'm finding is that I'm just letting my bait drift around in the current really slow and natural, and I'm getting a few bites now. So that's another good keeper. Let's put him in here. Oh, he bit it as soon as he hit the water, basically. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think that's honestly my first white crappie of the day. I've caught pretty much all black crappie over here. Pretty nice little white crappie. Toss him back in. Still looking for a big one. Got him. Oh no, it was a big one. No, that was the one. That was him. No. No. That was him, guys. That was him. Oh my gosh, about slipped off this rock. That's a crappie? Is it a big one? It's a large mouth. <laughs> oh man, I got so pumped. It's a little large mouth. Get up here. Woohoo! Man, I thought it had me a two pound crappie, but it's a nice large mouth. We've caught crappie, white bass, and large mouth out here today. You don't catch a bunch of these guys out here, but it's always cool to see them on the end of the line. See ya. Another one. Is that another bass? No, it's a crappie. It's a good crappie. Yes, sir. I think that's actually the biggest one I've caught today. How about that? It's a really solid black crappie. I'm getting all my bites right over the top of those rocks. Like I have a lot of good open water here where I feel like they should be at, but I'm just not getting bit over there. It's the craziest thing, but I'll take it. I think that what's happening is that we have a lot of fish swimming up from the river channel up here to the dam to feed. And uh, when they get about right there, they see my jig and they're like, yep, I want some of that. That's another good crappie. Put him in the bucket and get back out there. Oh my gosh. Finally. What the heck? This fish is all the way over here. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I have not caught a fish in like an hour and I catch this guy. I snag a shad and he gives me hope, but then I really, man, it's a shad. That job was slimy. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Darn it. What is that? Are you kidding me? What is happening right now? I snagged another shed. Okay, interesting turn of events out here on the spillway. Oh gosh, this one, this looked really good in the tail. Whoa. Ow. It's 
it's been like a whole hour and I was catching them so good in the beginning but anyways no complaints here finally got another one and definitely gonna be adding him to the bucket that's a nice one Oh, it's a good one. Get up here. Yes. Yes. I finally got myself a nice slab white crappie to add to the mix. I've been fishing for a fish like this all morning long, and the bite over the last hour and a half has just been excruciatingly slow. We haven't been getting very many bites, and the fish we've been catching just haven't been that impressive. Jay snagged a couple of shad, as y'all saw. <laughs> it's just been, it's been painful because, like I said a couple of times, the water looks so fantastic out here, and we were really expecting to catch a whole lot. But with that being said, we've got like eight or nine nice ones here in the bucket, and we've caught you know, maybe 15 or 20 all together. So it definitely wasn't a terrible morning, but just wasn't exactly what we were after. So we're gonna, I think, gather all of our stuff up here and make our way back across the dam to the car. Okay guys, we are back at the house now. We're at the fish cleaning table. Here's a look at today's catch. We have eight nice keeper crappie highlighted by a nice slab white crappie there. Got another nice slab. And that black crappie is pretty nice too. I didn't really realize how big he was compared to the other ones until now. But some nice fish. So these fish were freshly caught and they were still alive when I got here. So I just gave them a swift bonk to dispatch them. So they are now ready to be cleaned. And today to mix it up, I'm actually just gonna be using a regular old trusty hand fillet knife. You'll see me use the electric knife a ton out here. But for whatever reason, I feel like going old school and using this bad boy. So let's go to work on these guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I go about doing this. So if you're new to cleaning fish, you're gonna start off by cutting around the gill plate slash operculum like that. And then you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna run it down the spine. You're gonna cut down to like the middle part where you get down towards the ribs. At least that's how I do it. So we're gonna start cutting down the spine. Let's go all the way down here to the tail. And then I usually will run the knife blade like this. Keep it tied to those bones until I get to the ribs. And then once I'm there, I'll actually take the knife, feel around past the ribs, and I'll push it through. And then I'll run the knife blade out to the tail. Now what you have to do is just take the knife and just kind of easily cut over that rib section. Keep it nice and tight to it. And you're gonna come straight down off those ribs and peel the filet right off the side of the fish. And boom, there you have your filet. And all that's left to do now is to take the meat directly off the skin. So you kind of just get it started like that. Grab a hold of the skin and just work the meat right off the skin. Nice and simple. Actually got a little bit of skin left on there which will be tasty, but there is a fresh crappie filet filleted with a regular old hand knife. I know some of y'all prefer this method, um, or maybe you just have a fillet knife like this at home at your disposal and not an electric knife. So it's really quick and easy. I still think that using an electric knife is a better way to go through a bunch of fish and I can get, you know, just as good, if not a better looking fillet with an electric knife, but that's just, you know, my skill set. Um, some of y'all are probably way better at using a hand knife like this than I am. But anyways, I'm gonna finish cleaning up these fish and then we're gonna get them ready to cook somehow. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it today, but it should be tasty. Hey guys, so here's what's going on. I got the fish cleaned up and seasoned. I have some black and red fish magic on there. I'm gonna be throwing them in the skillet. Meanwhile, Jay's over here doing some housewife duties. <laughs> just buffering the floor. I gotta keep it clean. We got a baby that crawls all over the place. Yeah, so right now baby C is getting watched over at Nana's house. So we have to capitalize on the time whenever we don't have him here because that boy is always running around and making a mess. And we gotta keep it extra tidy in here because you know how it is. Whenever they're this age, they just get into everything. And he wants to like 
eat the leaves that are on the ground and we're like, where do you keep finding these leaves? But anyways, enough on that topic. We're gonna get back onto the crappie cooking segment of this. I've got some butter here in the skillet, all heated up, kind of banging it around everywhere. I'm kind of in a frenzy, I'm just so hungry. Ooh. And we're gonna get these boys on there and get them cooked up. We're gonna let these guys cook in the skillet for a few minutes and in the meantime, I'm gonna throw a bag of brown rice in the microwave and uh, we're gonna put together a nice little lunch. Take a look at that guys. In a matter of only about five minutes, we have ourselves a delicious looking plate of food. We have our um, Cajun spice or our black and red fish magic, uh, crappie fillets here, our brown rice here, and half of an avocado. Jay gets the other half of the avocado, even though I kind of want the whole thing. But <laughs> Jay won't let me have the whole avocado. But anyways, we are going to give this the official taste test. It's so crazy to think these fish are swimming at the spillway like less than two hours ago, and now they find themselves here seasoned up on our plate. Should be delicious. We'll do the taste test just to confirm it. Got a little bit of rice on there, a little bit of fish. Look at that. That looks yummy. Oh, oh goodness, I just mopped that floor. You sure did. <laughs> We're gonna have to call Buggy and Junebug in here. Might taste a little soapy to them. But anyways, let's give this a try. Fantastic as usual. Super good, super easy, and a really effective way, you know, to get some healthy food in your bodies. Like Jay and I, are super busy people. We don't have a lot of time to cook sometimes, and this is just a great way to give us some fuel to get through the rest of the day. So, Jay, you wanna get a try of that? Heck yeah. Jay just wanted a little sampler plate. She didn't want a whole lot. She wasn't feeling super hungry, but she did want to partake in this <laughs> adventure. Mmm. Really mm -hmm. good? Like you said, fantastic as always. There we go, fish on. First fish of the day. He smashed it. I don't know if he's gonna be a keeper or not. He's gonna be a little bit short, I think, but there we go, guys. It is freezing cold out here. And we got our first bite. That was only like our third or fourth cast. And that's exciting though, there's a couple crappie out there. Man, it has been a minute since I caught a crappie too. And that is a nice black crappie. Not a bad one at all. He's honestly probably a keeper. Okay, sweet. So from right here where the tip of his mouth is to this line where his tail is, that's 10 inches exactly. And he is over it. So he's actually our first keeper of the day. That's exciting. Let's get him strung up and let's see if we can catch some more. There's one. Feels a little bit better. My bobber was kind of behind a stick, so I couldn't see it. Oh, he's not as big as I thought he was going to be. We were fooled earlier, though. No, that one there definitely is not going to keep. He's got some weird marks on him, too. But guys, look how pale these fish are. The water is cold. It's super muddy, and these fish are just so pale. Got some slashes right there. Looks like maybe he was grabbed by a bird or something. I don't know. That's our second crappie of the day. A couple casts after that first one. We just got to work the bait really slow. But it definitely seems like there's some out there in that spot. It's a cool spot. I'll talk about it here in a little bit. But that's the bait I'm catching them on. It's just a plain and simple one and a half inch tube chartreuse. I've got a 132nd ounce ACC crappie sticks, orange jig head. And I've got it below a bobber about two feet. We're gonna send it back out there. gone there's a bass or something jumped over here on my right look back my bobber was gone there we go now i wish i had my bass rod now no i'm just kidding it looks like a pretty decent one ah he's gonna be a little short too that's a white crappie though yeah i just happened to look over that way and saw some shiners getting busted on by some bass and looked back over where my bobber was at and i couldn't find it <laughs> and it's because this guy pulled it down he's a little guy he's probably like 
nine incher. Just kind of, it's kind of long and skinny, but not long enough. There we go. That was a good bite. That looks like a big shiny boy. Next cast. Stay on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got another keeper right here, guys. Stay on. Stay on. Come up here. Yeah, baby. Is that another white crappie? It's another white crappie. Good fish, guys. Look at that. That's a stud, honestly. Oh, the hook just popped out. Same spot. Definitely gonna concentrate my efforts right there the mouth of that feeder creek. Cool fish, guys. Ready to go. There he is. That might be another keeper. Hard to say. He, they're just running like crazy today. I don't know what the dealio is. Is that a crappie even? Yeah, it's a crappie. Oh, and he's a keeper too. Yes, sir. Another good chubby one. Again, in the mouth of that creek back there. It's taking kind of a long cast to get to them, but, but whenever I get back there to them, they bite it pretty much instantly. It's a good fish. Let's get them on the stringer. There's one. Finally got one up a little bit closer. It seems like a pretty decent one too. It is just painfully slow working this jig. Water is cold. The fish are very, very finicky. And boom, there we go. Come here, come here. Look at that. Another really solid fish. It's actually a keeper, but I think I noticed something on this other side. Ew, look at that. Look at that. He has got a major laceration over there. I don't know. You think we should, I think I'm probably gonna let him go. I usually let these fish go whenever they have big cuts on them like that. Just because I found that um, whenever I clean the fish, They'll end up having worms in them and it's just been more fish like this that have them in them and the worms will be inside the fillet up here on both sides a lot of times now while that is i mean honestly our biggest one of the day i'm gonna send him back just because he is kind of janky this side looks good but it'd be all right i have a feeling we'll catch plenty of fish today just make him back to bite us but we'll send this guy back in the drink that's cool I mean, literally guys, I made one cast and I worked that bait for like three minutes maybe, or four minutes. I don't even know. It was a long time. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do for the slabs. That was a really good one. There we go. That was such a subtle bite. Oh my gosh. I think it's another good one though. Ah, uh, he's probably gonna be a little short. Yeah, he's gonna be a little bit short, just barely. He didn't even pull a bobber down. I just saw it just kind of just stand up on its side weird. And I was like, freak, I got a fish. <laughs> nice. And there you have it, guys. Another nice little black crappie. He's probably gonna be just shy of 10 inches. I'm gonna set him on my tackle box and kind of see. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna touch the line, but we will see. Oh. Hold on a second, guys. He's crossed the line. Look at there. It's another 10 incher. Another 10 incher. I was wrong. I'll take it. My guesstimations are a tad off today. It's a good thing that I have that mark on my tackle box so I can really tell how big these fish are. Otherwise, I'd be throwing most of these back, probably. <laughs> Uh-oh, next cast. That's crazy, like I'll go like 10 minutes without catching anything and then I'll catch two back to back. I think I got another one for sure, Keeper. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no doubter. Look at that, another white crappie, good mix of fish out here. Some are black, some are white, but they're all, they all have this yellow tint. And after releasing that one bigger fish, We've been rewarded with two 
nice one's in his place. Always seems to work out. Okay, we're going right back in there where I caught that last one. I mean, we're right back in there. I think he bit it on the fall. There we go, that's a good bite. I think we've got another good one. That was an awesome bite. Best bite I've had all day. Just fully committed to it. Get up here. Oh yeah, it's a stud. It's a stud for this creek. Get up here, big dog. Another no doubt white crappie keeper. Back in the mouth of that Peter Creek. And he is pristine. Not a blemish on him. Not even a jagged fin. That is a beautiful specimen right there. Oh gosh. I was getting cold. I hadn't had a bite. How long has it been? Eight minutes, which ain't too bad in the grand scheme of things, but my hands were getting cold. It is just, I'm, I'm struggling today. I usually don't struggle in the cold, but I am chilly. How many have we got now? I think we've got six, six or seven. That was a good one. Oh shoot. Dang, why we gotta lose the biggest one? <laughs> Dang it. There he is. Stay on there. It has been a lull in the action, guys. Probably close to 30 minutes if you caught one. We missed a couple. This one feels pretty nice if it's a crappie. It's also not fighting like a crappie, but it is. And it's another nice keeper. Hey yo. I missed two that were better than average. Yeah, it's been 25 minutes since we actually landed one. But we got another one. It's slow and steady. But we're really filling up the stringer now. I got some really good fish. I'm honestly thinking about going on a little bit of a vacation over that way. I've seen a bass come upon some shiners like three times. I'm thinking that there's, you know, an influx of bait over there. And there could definitely be some crappie. Slide him on there with his buds. We're getting close to 10. Yeah. Is that fish? Fish. That's, that's unbelievable, guys. Literally, next cast, I went 20 minutes without catching anything. And now we've got two crappie back to back, and this one here looks like another, oh, it's another good one. I think they're just loaded up in that feeder creek. That's definitely my biggest, that's a slab, guys. Boom, look at that, big old slab black crappie. Man, I really wish I had my kayak or something, so I could just go up in there and catch them. But this is fun, that's a nice one, guys. That's our biggest. He's probably 12 inches. And I kid you not, that was literally the very next cast. And it was, a, it was a good cast. I got way up in there. Can't complain about that. Oh, no. There we go. That's a nice one. Stay on, big guy. Man, it has gotten just to where it's just so long between bites. So, so we get this guy in here. That's a nice one. That is a good one to end on right there, guys. I mean, it's literally been 35 minutes since I had a bite. I've done some exploring around. I mixed up some different colors, some different retrieves with nothing. Um, but we finally got another fish. This is probably going to put us at, to at least 10 fish on the stringer, which is awesome, but maybe closer to a dozen. I don't really know. I haven't really been keeping count, but that's a, that's a really quality fish. And again, he's got no blemishes on him. So we're going to throw him on the stringer. We're going to grab our stuff and we're going to hike on out of here. But it has been an awfully good time out here today, but I'm excited to get home, get warmed up, clean these guys and eat them for supper. All right, let's see how many fish we got here on this stringer. I'm thinking 10 or a dozen. We've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Ten crappie, exactly. I think we have like five white crappie and five black crappie too, which is pretty cool. And even mixed species today. And you can see they've kind of changed color since they've been on the string and kind of been out of the water for kind of a second. They're not as pale as they once were, but it's definitely some respectable fish. All good keepers. So let's go on ahead and get these fish out of the woods. Let's get them back to the truck, back to the house, to the clan table, and then in our bellies, let's just say. Let's go. Guys, we have gone mobile. We just cooked up the fish, or Meemaw cooked the fish. We're here at Meemaw Peapod's house, <laughs> and Meemaw cooks the best fried crappie around. Yes, I'm not sure how she does it, but it's just absolutely the best. Everybody's here. We've got Cypress here. He's actually devouring some pickles. Take a look at this. <laughs> look at this. You like pickles? This little boy loves his pickles. <laughs> Peapod, how's the fish taste? Mm. <laughs> I can't even talk good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's always a good sign. Caught plenty of fish yesterday down at the creek to feed the whole fam. We had 10 in total, and that gives us all, how many does it give us? Four pieces each? Yeah. That's plenty. We're gonna have a good time. So yeah, we're gonna sit here, enjoy the fish. Actually, I'm gonna take a bite. We should try it. We need to do the taste test, don't we, Jay? I just kind of broke off a big piece. Here we go. Ready for it? Oh yeah. It's so simple and so delicious. It's just really light. Do you use this, do you use just like cornmeal and flour or what? I use cornmeal mix. Cornmeal mix, and then she always seasons the grease with onions. onions. And then whenever I try to replicate it, it just never turns out the same. So she must throw a lot of love in there mixed <laughs> into it. But it really is the best. It's so good. There we go. That's a good one. That looks like a nice keeper. Get up here, fishy. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Yes, sir. That's going to be 10 all day. All right, guys, we got our first keeper of the morning. I mean, he's definitely 10. He's gonna be bigger than the board. <laughs> Look at that, bigger than the board. First fish of the morning, hoping to get a few more of these. We're out here early, trying to beat the crowd and hoping to get a good little mess of them. I love catching these creep crappie out here. All right, one down, 29 to go. <laughs> There we go. That's another good one. Another good one right there. That's the same spot I caught the first one at. I think it's going to be another keeper. He's fighting like a good one. Might be close. It's going to be a lot closer than the last one. There's fish number two. I think he's going to be 10. It's a white crappie. The first one was a black crappie. It's been 12 minutes since I caught the last fish, so it's not, you know, super hot. I actually, I actually missed another fish. So I've had three bites in the first, like, 30 minutes that I've been here. So definitely not, like, popping off crazy. But if we can get this quality, that make all the difference. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 10 and a half all day on a white crappie. We'll take it. That first black crappie was a stud. I mean, gonna lie, it's like a nice 12 incher, but this is a nice 10 and a half. We'll pair up nicely with them. Okay, so that's two fish. I've got actually seven clips on that chain stringer. So I think my goal is to get seven fish on that thing. And then we could double them up, obviously, we'll start catching more. But here is the bait of choice today. I use this bait all the time when I'm out here, just because the water's kind of muddy and they like it. It's just a uh, one and a half inch chartreuse scrub, or chartreuse tube. I've got a 16th ounce jig head. Usually, usually use a 30 second, but there's a lot of current, so I'm trying to get down in the current. And I have it situated about two feet below a bobber. I'm using the seven foot six inch HCC crappie sticks medium. Um, I like the longer rod, help me get a long cast. And then I have a 2,500 size reel, 10 pound braided line to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. That's the setup. We're gonna back out there and get another one. There we go. I caught all my fish in the exact same spot. I don't know what that is right there. There's a little something there. I don't know if that's gonna be a keeper or not. He's not fighting that good. It looks like he's gonna be close. It's another white crappie, so they're usually longer. There we go, guys. He hook just popped out too. Third fish, you see the sun starting to come up through them trees. I bet he's 10 in the exact same spot. I think there's a log there, but I'm not exactly sure because I'm not getting hung up on it. Oh yeah, what am I talking? What am I talking about? 11. Look at that. I need to clean this thing off so I can see a little better, but it's 10 and three quarters right there. He was sitting five stars the other two. 
That's a good one. Oh God. It's a tiny one. <laughs> it barely popped it. And he couldn't even pull the bobber down. He was so little. There's our fourth fish, but that's gonna be our first non-keeper of the day, our first casualty. No little white crappie, it's crazy. Normally I catch a ton of black crappie out here, but so far it's been dominated by white crappie. He's a little guy, he's gotta grow up, but that's okay. Our ratio of keepers to non-keepers out here has been great so far this morning, but it's been, like I said, been kind of slow. We're kind of grinding out. We don't have all day to fish out here, but we got plenty of time to catch our seven. Oh, it was a fish. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. We're going the wrong direction. <laughs> tiny little black crappie. Little fish tank fish. I kept thinking it was a bluegill messing with it, but it was just this little dude. Okay, that is our fifth fish. Second tiny guy of the day. We need some big ones to swim back up in here. Man, that was the lightest little bite. I might need to shallow up a little bit. They might not be able to pull it down all the way because it's, I might be fishing too deep. Or it just could be just that they're just too small. It's an upgrade, but still a non-keeper. It's a pretty fish though. He was hooked perfectly. I've already lost track of the movie we caught. I think it's like number seven, maybe number eight. Peace. I mean, I'm on now, guys. I think it's another non-keeper, but it could be a keeper. We're gonna play and act like it's a nice keeper. Oh, it's gonna be really close. It's gonna be really close. Must have been a school that just swam through. Look at that, that is going to be probably nine and a half. Probably our first heartbreaker of the day. Well, it is in fact our first heartbreaker of the day. The 10 inch mark is right there. That is literally like a nine and seven eighths right there. Just a little bit too short. He gets to go for a ride on a crappie slide. Back to the lake. There we go. I hope he's big and just running at me. Every time I catch one there, it seems to be a small or medium guy. Oh no, he came off, no. He wasn't a keeper, I don't think, guys. Oh God. Got him. I think that's a keeper. He popped it good. But now he feels small. No, I started off so good catching good keepers. Now it's going to be too short. He smashed it. I fear he's going to be nine. <laughs> yep, nine and a half. Nine and a half inch. Back in the drink. Okay, we're making a spot change, but we first have to cross this log to get over here to this little section of the creek. Um, hopefully, it's not too slippery. My shoes are not the grippiest shoes in the world, but we will see. I've got pretty good balance, but I've got my hands full. I've got my tackle box, I've got my crappie, I've got my pole. And hopefully this log holds up too. So far, we're looking good. We don't want to fall in. This log is rocking. Oh, we're almost there. Sketchy. Sketchy. All right, we made it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I have a really hard time walking and looking down. <laughs> I was getting so dizzy, but we made it. If it wasn't for these shoes, 
I would have felt better about it. But now look at it. We got some nice looking spot. Ooh. We got some more creek right here to fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. New spot paid off. Come here. Don't come off. Don't come off, fish. Come to daddy. That's a good one. Finally, got ourselves another good keeper. He's like a dinner plate, too. That thing is thick. That sun's getting up. The reason I moved over here is because it's a little bit more shaded. And I wanted to take advantage of this low light as, po as long as possible. And I also wasn't getting no more bites where I was at. It's felt like an eternity, but we're finally putting our fourth fish on the chain stringer, meaning we only have three clips left. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to fill it out right here or not, but we're definitely going to try. There we go, another one. Same spot as the last one, this in here is not going to be a keeper. Same exact spot though. He's kind of yellow. He's kind of got that muddy, kind of golden, he looks like a golden rainbow trout color. <laughs> Non-keeper though. There we go. I think that's another keeper, guys. Looks like a thick one. Stay on there, big guy. Oh yeah, big in. Big in. Stay on. Right there. Whew, baby. Oh man, it has been kind of slow. It's been 16 minutes. My last fish, but that's another good, solid keeper. I'll take it, you know, for having to wait for our fish as long as they're keepers. That's all that really matters. It's a stud. Thick, creek crappie. I'm thinking about putting a lighter jig head on. I'm not in as much current now. And I'm thinking I would do better if I swap back down to a 32nd ounce. But here we go. Uh oh. And we are two crappie away from filling up the stringer. I think we can do it. There we go. Next guest. Same spot. I think we got another keeper. Oh yeah, another good one. Another good one. Come on, baby, stay on. Yes. I'll take it right there. Might just be a slight spot adjustment. That is freaking sweet. One more clip. Oh, my bobber was gone. Way gone. Way gone. I turned my head for half a second and it was gone. Oh, that's a big one. That might be our biggest of the day, guys. Huh, maybe not the biggest of the day. But there we go. Swapped it up on him just a little bit. Just a little bit. I got my tackle box. I was looking for a lighter jig head and I couldn't find one, um, but I found an orange one. So I swapped to an orange. I was using pink and I swapped to a more white um, baby shad profile bait i've been throwing chartreuse all day and i just figured maybe i'd show them something a little bit different and it worked out and with this fish i'm gonna set my crap down with this fish we have officially filled the stringer as long as i don't mess up there we go look at that guys we got one two three four five six seven i feel like i used to have more clips than that on my stringer <laughs> but uh, now we can uh, double them up now if we catch a couple more. But if not, seven is a great number. We've probably caught 15 or so. We've thrown back just as many as we've kept. 
but I'm gonna make a few more casts. The sun has gotten up. I'm running out of shade lines. I might run up the bank a little bit. There's a shade pocket, but uh, if not, we've had a good day, and hopefully, get it on with this guy. All right, guys. Well, I didn't get any more bites, and I'm ready to call it a day out here. I think it just got too sunny, but I got my fish on the stringer, and we are back here at our sketchy log that I have to cross. That thing was rocking the whole time I was walking across it. For as big as it is, you'd think it'd be more sturdy, and it is pretty sturdy, but it was slightly sketchy. But we're gonna hop back to spawn here. Hopefully, make it across in one piece and stay dry. I swear the bark on this thing is gonna break. It feels loose. Ah, oh, we're good, we're golden. We got a good pace this time. Last time we were kind of being timid. Had to feel it out the first time. All right, way easier getting back across this time than it was earlier. All right, let's take our fish back to the car and let's get back to the house. All right, guys, we are here at the cleaning table. We have our fish all spread out. They're still clipped onto the stringer. I need to get them unclipped really quickly, but look at those fish, guys. They are beautiful. We got black and white crappie, and we've got some studs. Like that right there is a really nice fish. That's a really nice fish right there. I mean, they're all just really quality and perfect eating size. And honestly, you can't ask for much more than that. You know, late season creek crappie fishing. And uh, we got some goings. And had we maybe got there a little bit earlier, maybe to that second spot, or just stayed out there longer, we might could have, you know, maybe doubled our amount. But seven is a great number for us to uh, to eat. So we get them cleaned up. And then I'm not sure how we're gonna cook them today, but it should be good. Crappie are always good no matter how you cook them. So let's get them all diced up. And we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, we are ready to start cooking. We cleaned all of our fish up and we have a few of our fillets here on the plate. I've just got four right here. We're just gonna do a little sampler today. Um, this is gonna be like our appetizer. We actually have a, a bigger dinner planned later on today, but I wanted to start off by snacking on some of these fillets while they are fresh. And today to do so, we're going to be frying them up here in the deep fryer right here. And today we're gonna be mixing it up just a little bit. We're gonna be making some yellow mustard battered spicy fried fish. I'm not sure if I got all those words in order, but we're going to make it some spicy yellow mustard battered fish featuring the hot sloppy mama. I've already got some of that sloppy mama mixed up here. This is just some flour. I like using the hot version of that sloppy mama just because you don't have to use as much to season the flowers because it is already a little bit extra spicy. But I already have this guy heated up and I think that we are ready to go on about with the process. Oh, I'm losing a napkin. It's a little bit breezy out here. If y'all hear some wind blowing, it is because it is breezy. But yeah, I'm gonna start off by uh, rubbing some mustard all over these fillets, and then we'll throw them into the flour and sloppy mama mix, and then we'll toss them in here. So I'm actually gonna put this back on just for a moment. Kinda jump the gun on that guy. Let's roll our sleeves up real quick. So like I said, we've got our fish on the plate, and I'm just gonna start off by adding a little bit of yellow mustard to them. I'm not really sure what it is about the yellow mustard that makes this style of fish good, um, but it just is. So this is kind of like your wet batter, which is going to hold um, you know, our dry seasoning onto the fish. And then when you cook this, it really doesn't even taste like mustard. You get, you get like a little bit of a hint of it, but it's just, it's just yummy. It's just really yummy. I don't know why I don't do this more often. I think it's just because I don't like get my hands on mustardy, but we're risking it for the biscuit today. Okay, I like the way that that looks, nice and mustardy. Let's go on ahead and toss them into this bad boy right here. One, two, three, four fish in the back. Oh no, I'm losing my napkin again. Give them a good jostling inside the bag. I think this is the best way to batter fish. I see a lot of people like you know mixing it with their hands and mixing bowl, which that works too. But I feel like you get a really good even coat this way, and it's a little bit less messy. Okay, let's put our deep fryer back over here. Show you guys how this turned out. Look at that. Super well evenly coated. 
that should stick on there. Flour usually sticks onto, you know, a, a kind of somewhat damp fillet pretty well, but I think adding the mustard is gonna make it even better. If we were getting really freaky, we could like double mustard batter it, but we're just gonna do just a single today. Oil's nice and heated up. These will probably only take about, I don't know, three or four minutes, and then we will take them out to do the official taste test. Okay, well, our fish are done, and I have to say they look quite scrumptious, but there is something rather interesting that I would like to share with y'all. I'm not really sure how I feel about this, or how this actually happened, but I was just kind of looking at this mustard bottle, um, you know, just while the fish was cooking. And if you look right there, do you read that date? Best by October 28th, 2020? Like what? Like how does that happen? It's 2023 right now. I, I honestly have no idea. Like, so I, I don't even know. Like we have lived here at this house since 2018, like middle of 2018. So there's honestly like a good chance that that could possibly be the first bottle of mustard we ever bought. I don't really know what the shelf life is on this thing. I, I have no idea. Like, we use mustard all the time. Like, we've been using this mustard, but it's three years expired almost. Or I guess like I guess two, like two and a half, two and a half. I don't two and a quarter. I don't know. But anyways, if things go wrong and this tastes bad, it's I blame the mustard. And then if I get sick and die, then it's the mustard. If I get salmonella, but I, I think that the. I think that the tastiness of the crappie is going to like, you know, like neutralize the uh, three-year-old mustard, but I felt like I just needed to share that with y'all just in case anything goes south here. <laughs> I literally have no idea how that happened or how that, I don't even know. Maybe there's another mustard ball in our fridge and that one just, I don't even know. But anyways, enough about that. We have that right there. Look at that. It's crispy, golden brown. You can see the seasoning. You can see on this side, it's kind of got the ripples of that flour. I mean, look at that. It's going to be so good as long as the mustard ain't bad, but... You only live once. We're going in. Hot. Dang, that's so good. Like I said, guys, you really don't taste the mustard, but it just makes, it's just something that enhances like the flavor of the meat or the breading, I don't know. But that's good, it's very hot. I should have waited a second, but I figured it'd cool off. It's kind of cooled off out here in the wind's blowing, so. Best to come out here, spend some moments with y'all cooking some fish. I feel like we do this all the time, but it never gets old for me. Man, it's good. Mm. Man, that is good. Now, like I said, I don't, I don't recommend um, cooking with three-year-old mustard. Three-year-old expired mustard. That mustard could be five years old for all I know. I don't even know. That's crazy. But it did make some good fish. And, you know, it's a great way to round out the day. We had a great time this morning out there catching some fish. Um, didn't slay them like I was kind of hoping, but we did catch enough, obviously, for a nice meal that we'll enjoy for the next couple of days. And it's just it's just fun, you know, walking the creek. It's just, it's just so simple. It's so easy to do. Any of y'all can go out, you know, this time of year, find yourself a local creek, toss some crappie jigs underneath the bobber, and probably look into some big slabs. Got it. Fish on. Fish on. There we go. There we go. That's another good one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. He smashed it on the pause. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. That's a slab. That's a slab. Howdy guys, it's me again. And as you guys can probably tell by my surroundings, I have found my way back out here into this wonderful cypress tree swamp. I've got a couple of hours of daylight that I was wanting to fish and I'm hoping to run into some big old fat slabs. Now to be honest with you guys, the bite has been pretty subpar as of late. I haven't been catching very many numbers, really haven't been catching many fish at all. And I actually just fished a large span of these trees back here um, for probably the last 30, 45 minutes and I didn't even have a bite, but I've got a couple of spots up ahead of me this way 
that um, I've done pretty well in this year. And I'm hoping they'll be holding some crappie, at least one or two, I don't know. But before we run up in here into the spot, I just wanted to say hi, touch base with y'all, see how y'all were doing. Hope you all are doing well, and I hope y'all are excited to tune in to this fishing adventure. If so, I would greatly appreciate it. As always, if you could leave a thumbs up on today's video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these future crappie fishing adventures. But with that being said, I'm gonna mosey on up over there, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get a few. See you at the spot. Nice one, guys. Get up here. Get up here. Boat flip. Yeah, baby. That is a healthy start to this afternoon fishing mission. A solid, solid slab black crappie. Just crushed that little 30 second ounce little jig right there at the Bobby Garland baby shed. That was awesome. Oh man, it's cold out here. Hopefully, the bite is going to be hot. Let's put this guy in a bucket and let's cast back out there so we can catch another one. That was next cast. Next cast, baby. That's another good one. I didn't even see the bite. <laughs> yes, I was checking out the camera to make sure it was on and working, and I felt the bite in my rod, which is rare whenever you're throwing a bobber. It's another nice keeper, guys. Second black crappie of the mission. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Ooh. I can get down to that right there, guys. I wasn't even looking, just felt it. I was like, where'd my bobber go? It was gone. Okay, okay, got two on the board. Can we get a third one in a row? I'm in the same spot. I don't think I'm gonna catch any leaves, which is good. <laughs> got some leaves on at that time. I guess that's why I didn't get bit. Hopefully that's why I didn't get bit. Drop back in there clean, hopefully, and get another bite. Third one, smashed it on the paws. He smashed it on the pause. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. That's a slab. That's a slab. Get the net. Get the net. <laughs> no nets needed in this boat, guys. That. Oh my gosh. I let that bait sit there next to this log for a second, and this guy just clobbered it. There was no pop. The bobber just went out of sight. That is another dandy. Three nice slabs. Oh, I'm feeling it, feeling it. Let's see if we catch a couple more. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Nice, I think that's not gonna keep. That's a smaller guy. That's our fourth one, just letting it sit there. Just letting it sit there and hover. They're not liking it worked a whole lot. They just want it to sit there in front of their face. The little baby shad does a good job just kind of just kind of quivering in the water column. It's a decent fish, but that's definitely not gonna be too, especially with this tail. Look at his tail, it's like all deformed. That top lobe's messed up. I guess the bottom lobe's fine. But that is a decent fish and still a decent sign that we're gonna catch some more. As long as he doesn't tell his buddies, we'll be good. Oh, he smacked it. There we go. It's been a minute. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. Although I don't think this one's going to keep either. That is awesome. 
just hearing that bobber pop and seeing it go down is just it's so much fun it's a it's a bite that never gets old for me out here especially in an awesome fishing spot like this i mean look around guys it is just beautiful out here and that is a good like nine and a quarter inch fish i would assume definitely not going to be a keeper so we're going to send him back into the drink so he can become a 10 incher next year it kind of slowed down out here um, i've been really fishing this bait super slow this little area that i'm fishing is a very tiny little area for some reason these fish are only wanting to hang out right here there's not very many fish out here at all it doesn't seem like or at least i haven't been able to find them um, all really big and grouped up so i've just been kind of milking this spot for all it's worth the bill shad jumped through here but the reason i'm fishing this spot honestly is because as i was waking my way through these trees earlier trying to you know locate some fish there was a bunch of birds hanging out in here and oftentimes you know you see birds that indicates that there is some sort of bait fish or game fish like crappie in the area um, the only thing about that though is if you see birds in your area that could also mean that they are scaring off all of your fish so um, it was a little bit of a risk to check this spot out but um it's definitely worth it we've caught how many is that i think it's five i think it's five crappie so far um, definitely can't complain with that we've only been fishing this spot for about 20 minutes or so and i feel like we could possibly leave this spot let it sit and some more would probably reload into it at least it's how this spot has been historically so i think i'm probably gonna fish here another 10 minutes or so um, if we don't get a whole lot more bites i'll probably navigate somewhere else see if i can find some fish potentially but if not i'll come back over here and catch some more bites. hopefully we don't have to leave the spot um, because another thing you can do is you can kind of just sit in these high percentage areas and these fish they're always moving especially on a cloudy day like today they're not really um, positioning undercover they're kind of just roaming chasing bait fish so in theory you could sit here and wait for some more to just reload while you're sitting but i'm kind of an active fisherman i'm kind of a um, an impatient fisherman i like to kind of keep on the go so we'll just see what happens maybe a few more good casts in here so we can pop another slab or two in the face It always happens that way. <laughs> I'll grab the paddle to kind of reposition and I'll get bit. I got smoked. That was the first one I missed though. So let's get back in there, see if we can give him a bite again. There we go. There we go. That's another good one. Oh my gosh. That's another good one. Get in here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Man, guys, my patience really paid off just then. I was just like moments away from um, pulling my anchor up and moving on to another spot. Um, but this guy just cranked it right up next to this tree and it just bought us a little bit more time in this spot. We'll probably hang out here another 10 minutes or so. Um, like I said, it's been really slow, but look at the slabs on that guy. What a beautiful, beautiful black crappie. And he's thick too. Really, really nice fish. And that hook is just right in the top lip. So the jig head I'm using is actually um, the new ACC Crappie Sticks jig head. I really like these guys. They're kind of like that pill style jig head. They have these really big, bright green eyes. I love um, big eyeballs on my jig head. I don't really care what color they are or what they look like. I just like for them to be big and something that the crappie can hone in on. And then it has the perfect sized little number four hook on there to pair up on those uh, baby shads. So, so sick. Beautiful fish. He's going in the bucket. I think it's our fourth one in the bucket now. We're doing good. I'm not sure if y'all can tell or not, but the sun is actually starting to come out from behind the clouds. And um, that could either be a good thing or a bad thing for us. It's either going to um, get these fish positioned up next to these trees where they're more predictable and we're going to start catching them a little bit more if the sun fully comes out, or they're going to tuck up really tight up underneath some stuff we're not able to cast at. So we'll see what happens. We typically do better fishing out here whenever it's more overcast because a lot of the stuff that we're casting at is kind of just open cover. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. If that sun stays out, it might get them tired of these trees. And it might get the few that are here, like, all positioned on the same tree so we can catch multiples at once.
There's one. There we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, right up here in front of me. I gotta back off this. That fish there really surprised me. I was kind of moving up um, from where I was casting it. There's a little hole up here. I saw some shad kind of flickering and I figured I would give it a toss. And pretty much nearly as soon as the bait hit the water, this guy ate it. Not a keeper, pretty close to it. So we'll send him back here next to this tree. And uh, we're gonna cast back in that spot right there. And see if there's another one. I mean, he bit that thing instantly. There's one, little one. Another little guy right up here in front of me. Although this guy is small, it is nice to finally start catching some fish out of a different hole. Uh, I feel like maybe we can expand on this, keep you know following this little pathway. We might run to a couple of slabs. It's a good eight incher, but not a good 10 incher. Put it right back out there. Another one, another one, another one. Another one. Get up here. Woo, yes. That was back to back cast in the spot right here in front of me. It's super shallow up there, um, but you know, whatever. I know my bait's pretty much on the bottom. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Get in the boat. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I guess that's all she wrote for today's fishing adventure, guys. Man, it was it was very slow and it was quite cold out here too. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad we were able to catch what we did up there in that one hole. Got some really nice slabs like this guy right here. Super slabby, he'll definitely eat well. We got plenty of fish here um, for a good hot meal, which is exactly what we are fixing to do. We're gonna make the trek back to the house. We're gonna get these boys all sliced and diced up and we're probably gonna fry them up because I need some hot food in my belly. We'll catch you guys when we get back to the house. Okay guys, well it is actually the next day now. I got home, we actually ended up having some different dinner plans, so I didn't get to cook these fish up last night, but that's okay because we're about to cook them up for lunch today. Um, so I've got five fish here at the cleaning table. Here's our two biggest slab black crappie. Um, and real quick, I'll go over what I'm gonna use to clean these fish with. I still get a lot of questions every time I make a catch a good video of what type of knife we're using and so on and so forth. So here it is, this is just the Bubba corded it's got a cord on there electric fillet knife i'm using these nine inch e-flex blades on there it's a really great knife it's got a lot of power a lot of torque i've been using it for like over a year now and it's still running pretty strong um, this isn't like a sponsored item or anything but definitely would recommend it if you want to buy a high quality knife there's definitely some cheaper options out there on the market um, another one we like a lot is the mr twister um, piranha it's like you know a third of the cost of this one but they do wear out a little bit quicker um, but anyways, yeah, this little knife I'm using, we're gonna just be filleting these bad boys. Let's get to clean these guys up. I'll go through the steps really quickly uh, for any of y'all that may be new to watching the channel or may have never seen a uh, fish get filleted before with an electric knife. So I've got y'all a nice little overhead view of our fish right here. Uh, we'll start by lifting the pectoral fin up and I'm gonna make a first cut around this operculum area, just like that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our knife and we're just gonna run it laterally down the side um, on this side of the backbone. So you kind of see I kind of got leveled up since that wasn't a straight cut. I kind of angled the knife back and forth so I can get that thing flush to the bones. So here we go, down to the tail. I don't like to cut all the way through because what you can do is you just open the fish up like this. You can grab a hold of the fish and you just take the meat right off the skin. So now we are left with the filet, with the ribs in. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your knife and you're just gonna follow those ribs out. It's a, it's a very easy thing to do. So here we go. Tilt your knife back upwards. The ribs are out. 
and you have an almost completely boneless piece of fish. The only thing that's left are these little pin bones right here. If you're gonna fry the fish, you can just leave them in there, but if you're gonna cook them in the skillet, maybe turn them into tacos or something, I would recommend uh, cutting right through there and cutting those bones out. But anyways, that is how we fillet fish. I'm going to quickly get through the rest of these crappie and we're gonna get ready to cook them. Let's go. That fish is looking so good, and we've got some more here in the deep fryer. And we also have, look at Whoa, these guys. It's bright. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> turn this thing down, I can't see. Oh Holy my goodness, smokes. say hi. Say hi to the people, Sai. Hi. Hey, hey, he said, hey, it smells like fish out here. It smells good. It smells it, good. We're using that Slappy Mama fish seasoning, and it is just it is so good. And it actually broke me off a little piece here, off one of those fillets. And I already kind of nibbled on it a little bit. So it, I'm, I'd, be, I'd be lying if I told you that it wasn't <laughs> already good, but it's delicious. Take a little bite here for y'all. Mmm. Mmm. That is yummy. <laughs> that is so yummy, Cypress. I bet it is. Look at Cypress's hair. It's really gross. Look at it. It's getting so long. It's like over his ears. It's like longer than my hair now, <laughs> which is crazy. Because I had, I had some long flowing locks, didn't I? <laughs> you did, and then you cut it off. Mom made me cut it off. <laughs> Yeah. Mom made me cut it off for holiday season, which is okay. It was kind of a mess and it was windy and it was just a jumbled mess. But Jay, you want this little bite of fish? Heck yeah. <laughs> is it edible? Mm. Oh man, that's delicious. It's so good. Dang. Cypress has got food on his face. <laughs> he got a little food right there. He just ate, what do you eat? Some uh, sweet peas and carrots and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. He likes his carrots. Kind of turning his, orange, his nose orange a little bit though. <laughs> you know, so it kind of stands out. We don't really know how to get that off. We've been like rubbing it off with lotion and washing it, but it's, it's just kind of turned a little orange, which is normal. But um, we got to figure out a solution <laughs> I don't think to that. Maybe it's normal. Maybe it's not normal. <laughs> I don't know. We got to figure out some solution to that because he's definitely got a little bit of an orange nose. And I think that this is where we are going to wrap up today's adventure. Thank you all so much for going fishing with me out there on the lake yesterday. It was kind of a grind. Didn't catch that many, but we still were able to put some good slabs in the boat. And I'm hopeful that we will still be able to catch some more out of that spot. But if that's the end, well, we went out with a bang. If y'all enjoyed today's video, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're Colin J and Baby C, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, bye guys. Say bye.